Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's Facebook Marketing Mastery Training. My name is Angela Carter, and I want to welcome all of you who decided to hop on live for this action-packed, content-filled uh, training tonight. If you've never been on any of our trainings that we do, um, you are in for a treat because we actually give actionable uh, content that you can apply no matter what company, no matter what business that you are um, promoting. So I want to go ahead and welcome all of you that are on. If you are just now hopping on, please in the comment section below this video, uh, put your name and what city, state, or country you are tuning in from so that way I can give you a good welcome as I get our slides pulled up here. So feel free to put your name and where you are tuning in from, your city and state or country in the comment section below. And because I know I had some people already already uh, connecting with me. So feel free. Talk you know talk back and, and so that way we can give you a welcome. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. So if you are here for the Facebook recruiting mastery training, then you're in the right place. Um, we're gonna cover here tonight how you can get results on Facebook without spamming Facebook groups, without spamming your family and friends. We're gonna give you some really cool ways of marketing on Facebook that you probably have never heard anyone talk about before. So I am going to uh, go ahead and get this show on the road. I do have a special guest that will be um, that maybe you know popping out here soon, a little bit later on, uh, who's also using Facebook and going to share some some powerful ways that she's using Facebook to get results and you know start getting some building some relationships with people on Facebook. So let me go ahead now and pull up my slides, and then we'll go ahead and get this show on the road. So from Tacoma, Washington. So welcome, welcome. So uh, let me tell you guys where I'm from. I'm from I'm here in Michigan. So uh, so welcome, welcome, Tacoma, Washington. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going here. I want to respect all of your time. So all right. All right. So we are here for the Facebook Marketing Mastery. How to recruit reps on Facebook, no matter what company you are in. So, for those of you who um, maybe weren't invited by me, because there's a lot of people that were promoting this particular training tonight. So, if you're not familiar with me or who I am or my background or my story, I got started in the home based business industry in 2010. Uh, I got started as a unemployed licensed attorney with $220,000 in student loan debt. Um, the reason why you see that lady on the screen is she represents how I felt for the first two years that I was in this industry. Um, I got started in 2010 and I got started with a company that actually was very uh, open to their distributors marketing online. So I was like, okay, this should be easy. You know, I passed the bar exam. This can't be that hard. I, I can learn things. So this should be fine, you know? So I get in and I got started and I was told to make that infamous family and friends list, right? To, to, to market to my family and friends, chase them down. And I was told to, instead of doing like the home parties, do like a virtual home party and invite all my family and friends on Facebook <laughs> to my virtual home party. And I literally got crickets as my response because nobody showed up. Um, so I struggled a lot in the industry for my first two years. I ended up recruiting five people total in two years. And so I, you know, being the determined, ambitious, pers ambitious person that I was, I went online to try to figure out, okay, how can I make this business work? So I uh, ended up coming across a lead generation system that promised to show me how to build my business. Um, and I ended up getting involved in that system. And I generated a couple of leads, but didn't recruit a single person into my business. And honestly, I didn't know how it worked. I didn't know how promoting the system could then get people into my business because I really just wanted to promote my company. So I ended up getting rid of that system and I got to the point where uh, you know I just said you know what I don't believe any of these online marketers I think they're all lying to me um, so I'm gonna do the complete opposite of what they're telling me to do so at that time a lot of them were saying you know don't pick up the phone don't do cold calling so I was like you know what I'm gonna do the complete opposite I don't trust them I tried their way so I'm gonna do the complete opposite so I bought these home biz op leads <laughs> and any of you who have ever bought these home biz op leads, you're probably shaking your head now because you're having nightmares from your experience as well. But I bought these home biz op leads because I'm like, okay, you know what? I tried it the online guru's way. I'm going to do it the complete opposite. So I'm going to call these leads. And what I did was I purchased um, 
these leads from a company that advertised online and they had people who you know saw their advertising and put their information in and then now what this company does is they sell the information of all these people who said they wanted more information about a home-based business to those of us who needed leads so I, I would spend like nine dollars a month ninety dollars a month for these leads and it took me about two months before I worked up the courage to pick up the phone and call them and I started picking up the phone and you know half of them didn't answer because they had caller ID and they're like me whenever I see a number I don't recognize I don't answer it um, some of them did answer and was really nice said that they would check out my my business presentation and when I called them back never heard from them ever again they went ghost on me then there were some people who some of you guys might have heard the story there were some people who you know answered that I wish didn't answer because they screamed my ear off because they were like you know I'm getting all these calls from these strangers and I wish you guys would stop calling me so they would scream my ear off and then I would hang up the phone and question my life and question why did I even get started in this um, and I felt like pulling my hair out like this lady so at that point after going through that experience I said I'm done I quit this industry I'm done I can't figure it out you know I thought I was a smart person but clearly I'm not smart enough to do this maybe I don't have the personality I don't know but I'm done so I had quit um, and I had quit because of just of all the different ways that I was taught how to market um, the dreaded family and friends list right like I talked about but I got sick of even being a drive-by marketer now I don't know if you guys know what drive-by marketing is but some of you may have heard of drive-bys right so drive-bys usually happen in crime infested cities in the country where you know someone you know and a lot of times it's usually gang affiliated but you know someone drives by and they shoot you know their target their victim and you hear a lot about how a lot of young kids get caught in the crossfire and they end up dying from these drive-bys and you know the drive-bys are just you know they're they're hitting unsuspecting people at times and sometimes they're target but there's something that's going on here online called drive-by marketing there are marketers who are even on Facebook driving by and hitting up unsuspecting people unsuspecting victims with their biz op and now people are being victimized by it right and I have to admit that I have done it and that was before I learned the right way to market and some of you may have felt like or you know that you've been doing that and that may be why and it is probably one of the main reasons why you're not getting the results that you want um, but here's what happened with me I had a breakthrough I finally learned and got access to training that showed me the right way to do Facebook I always kind of shied away from Facebook because I'm an introvert I just was never the person who was very social I didn't like networking in college or any I didn't never I never went to networking functions um, so with social media was just something I was like I don't get it I don't think it fits my personality you know I was the person in high school that would hang around in the library during lunchtime just so I could get away from people so I just never understood how to make social media work for me but I learned this really cool tactic that I'm going to share with you guys tonight um, and here's what happened instead of me you know putting stuff on Facebook and getting crickets no responses I would get inbox messages like these you see this is from Jasmine who said I've seen a couple of your status updates and I'm interested in finding out about the business that you're in I, I just became a stay-at-home mom and would love to work from home this is something anyone can be involved in how many of you would like to get like Facebook status message or Facebook inbox messages like that um, here's another one that I would get like hi Angela what exactly <laughs> is your business I've been wanting to ask you for a while now so I learned how to get people to inbox me now instead of me being the random drive-by marketer hitting up unsuspecting people so I started being able to generate you know interest from people but not only that um, I learned how to now generate leads for my business uh, as you see here Rashida opted into my uh, website to learn more information about my business on August uh, August 5th and I connected with her on Facebook using the strategy I'm going to share with you tonight. And she said, "Hey, girl, you found me on Facebook." Now, this is somebody I had never talked to, right? I, she just came through some other marketing that I was doing. That I'm going to share with you guys tonight what I was doing. And how many of you like to just have people who are just that familiar with you, or they feel that sense of connection with you? They're like, "Hey, hey, girl, <laughs> hey, man." Right, so she said, hey girl, you found me on Facebook. Haha, ha, I'm excited about this hair care. So she was in a business that was marketing hair care products. She said, I haven't even got my kit yet. So she's like laughing and joking. And I'm like, this is different than people screaming my ear off, you know, doing cold calls. 
So here's what happened, right? So you say, okay, you guys were buddy buddy. Okay, but what results, right? Did this get? She signs up three days later uh, into a business, right? Uh, so this works is what I'm what I'm sharing with you. Um, I learned how to instead of calling all these random home biz op leads and paying ninety dollars a month, I learned free strategies to get over sixteen leads a day into my business from people who actually knew who I was, right? Um, and then because I started generating leads and started getting sales, I started making more money. So I ended up making uh, $1,125 in one day online. Now, um, you know, obviously I can't guarantee income just from legal perspective. So if you want to see our average income statements, you can go to empowernetwork.com forward slash income. So I just want to cover that. But, um, you know, I made more in one day than I did, uh, you know, previously in my previous law job before I got laid off. Um, I would, it used to take me about two weeks of working 40 hours a week to make that what I did in one day online. Um, because of this process that I'm going to share with you guys tonight, I ended up um, hitting the leaderboard, being one of the top recruiters, top 10 recruiters for the past six months inside of my entire company. So I went from being somebody who could only recruit five people in two years to now being the top 10 recruiter inside of my entire company for the past six months. So. I'm just sharing this with you guys so that you can know that there is a process, right? There is, you'll see the steps in my story. I mastered lead generation. Then I mastered closing those leads. Then I mastered, you know, recruiting. And then now I mastered consistent recruiting, became a top recruiter. Now my income, I'm generating a full-time income, um, making over four grand a month now, uh, which is the most I've ever made in my adult working career. Because like I mentioned um, earlier, um, when I got started in this industry, I was unemployed. I had $220,000 student loan debt. Uh, when I graduated from law school in 2008, the only job that I could get was temporary work. And I got hired, and what we would do is we get hired for, for temporary projects. So when the project was over, we would get laid back off, and then when there was work, they would hire, hire us. So I wasn't making a lot, and I wasn't even making what I expected. Um, you know, in terms of my legal profession. So I've made more money now a month in my home-based business than I ever did in any other job I've ever had. Um, it's a great thing to say that, but it's also a sad thing because it reflects the state of our, our country right now, that we got a lot of kids come out of school with a ridiculous amount of debt and they don't even make enough money um, that they should be making to be able to pay it off. Well, I had to hire myself and I had to start my own business to be able to do that. So. Um, ended up being a speaker on my on stage at my company event. But here's what is exciting for me is the impact that I've been able to have now. I've been able to help other people learn how to market the right way. Um, and a lot of us, those of you, if you were invited by someone other than me um, on this hangout tonight, we have all been able to now reach and impact other people because we learned the right way to market. So Lee Rowan was somebody who he plugged into our Facebook marketing training. He was like, I already have people asking me what it is that I do because of what I learned from your video. And then here's what happened. Um, he ended up getting someone signed up. And you can see here, a couple of days later, he says uh, he got a sign up. And I said, well, how did you get your sign up on Facebook? And he said, yes, I've been working with her for a while and I just did what I learned from you. And she eventually decided to join. So my question to you is, are you ready to finally get results? Are you ready to learn the right way to do Facebook marketing and how to use Facebook marketing to get results in your business? Well, tonight I want to share with you how to recruit reps on Facebook without chasing your family and friends, how to get results using Facebook, even if you're an introvert, even if you suck at networking and you don't want to look spammy on Facebook, because that was pretty much me. I didn't want to do or look like that at all. And we're going to share with you how to apply this in your business. So for those of you who are like, look, I'm ready to run. I get it. I see it. You know, after going through this, you're like, look, I, I want to I wanna implement this right away. We don't want to leave you guys hanging. So we'll show you guys how to take it even a step further. But let's get it going. So the problem is, like I mentioned, drive-by marketing, right? So there's a lot of people on Facebook who they're doing drive-by marketing. They are putting posts on their Facebook status updates um, on their profile page, or on their Facebook fan page, or on Facebook groups. And um, they're not really connecting with people. So what I'm seeing is that there's really kind of three common mistakes. And what I want you to do is as I go through these mistakes, identify which ones maybe that you're making. And if you're bold and honest enough, you can put it in the comment section below this video. We're not here to, to judge. We're here to help you, you know, fix whatever mistakes you're making so you can start getting results. So 
as we're going through the mistakes, if you say like, you know what, yeah, I, I, I have committed mistake number one, put it in, in the group, um, you know, and, and just share, put it in the comment section below. So mistake number one is what I'm seeing is no targeted audience. So most people who are marketing on Facebook to promote their business, they're marketing to any and everyone. So they are, you know, spamming Facebook groups or they are spamming their Facebook friends and family. So they don't really have a targeted audience of people who are their ideal person. So the ideal person that would actually buy their product or service or join their business opportunity. So they're just kind of, um, you know, talking to random people on Facebook or anybody that will listen on Facebook. So that's problem number one, right? They're talking to any and everybody. I just want to make sure you guys see my slides. Okay, so you see them. All right. So that's mistake number one that I see. Mistake number two is no understanding of the people, the audience that are actually using Facebook. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this in the upcoming slides. But what you have to understand is that when, when people are on Facebook or when anyone is interacting and engaging with your marketing, you have to be aware of where they're at when it comes to the problem that they have, how aware of the problem that they have, how aware they are of the solution to their problem, how aware they are of whatever it is that you're offering, whether it's your product or your business opportunity. You need to know where they're at you know, when they see your marketing. So even on Facebook, people who use Facebook, are they aware at the time that they're using Facebook of a problem that maybe your product or your service or your business opportunity solves? And if you, if you don't know, then you're going to be marketing to them in the wrong way. And if you market to them in the wrong way, you could come across as pushy or spammy. So what you have to realize is most people who are on Facebook, at the time that they usually see your marketing, they're on Facebook to chat with their family and friends. They're not usually aware right, of the problem that they have at the time that they see your marketing on Facebook. They're there chatting with their family and friends. They're not like someone who's maybe searching on YouTube for how to get rid of acne. Like They know they have a problem and they're looking for the solution. On Facebook, right? They're not searching for how to get rid of acne. They're on Facebook, maybe in different Facebook groups, connecting with people, or they're chatting with their family and friends. Knowing that changes everything, and it changes how you should approach them, and I'm going to talk about that later tonight. So if you've never really thought about, like, hey, I never really thought about my audience and where they're at and what they're thinking about, you know, as they're seeing me on Facebook, then you may be committing mistake number two. And then mistake number three is a lack of education. So what I'm seeing now in the field is there's a lot of people who, a lot of network marketers, home-based business owners, a lot of online marketers, a lot of just business owners, it could be small business owners. Um, they're using Facebook, but they, they, they haven't invested in training to learn what's going on right now on Facebook. Facebook is always changing. And some of you who've been on Facebook, you know. Uh, Facebook is always changing, and if you don't stay up to date on it, you could be doing things and wasting your time. So one of the biggest things that I see people don't understand and get is that Facebook has this really fancy software called a Facebook algorithm. And basically, it's just a fancy way of saying Facebook has this really super smart software that what it does is if you, let's say I have a Facebook fan page, and you are a fan of mine on my Facebook fan page, right? So let's say you're a fan of me on my Facebook or a fan of my Facebook fan page. If I'm putting posts about my business or my products on my Facebook fan page, just because you're a fan doesn't mean that you're actually seeing those posts. And so many home-based business owners don't know that. So they're doing all of these posts, even on their Facebook personal page, all these posts on their fan page, and they're wondering why they're not seeing results is because they didn't get the training to know that not everybody that is a fan of yours or even a friend of yours on Facebook will actually see your posts. So what Facebook has is a really smart algorithm where it says, look, let's say that Sally is one of my fans of my Facebook fan page. If Sally is always liking and commenting and sharing on any posts that I make on my fan page, Facebook super smart software says, whoa, Sally really likes Angela's content here. So now the next time Sally goes on Facebook, when Angela puts a post on her fan page, we're going to make sure that Sally sees it in her news feed. That's how smart Facebook is. But if you don't know that that's how the software runs on Facebook, you could be wasting all of your time doing all these posts and wondering, okay, why aren't people 
you know, like, you know, commenting because they're probably not even seeing it. So the, the goal is you want to increase your engagement and interaction. You want people to like and comment and share on your post because now it increases the likelihood that they'll see your next post, which might be you know a, a promotion that you're doing for your your product or your service or your 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 business opportunity. So how many of you, just knowing those uh, three mistakes, you can identify now like I've committed one or two or maybe all three. So put in the um, comment section. You know, if you've been making a mistake, which one or which of the, the three have you been have you been uh, making? Put it in the comment section below. I want to see what's the common one. I think um, what I've seen a lot of people say is that the mistake number three was a big one for them. So which one was the one that, or it could be more than one, that you were making on Facebook? Let's see. Number two. Okay, number two. Hi from St. St. Louis. Welcome, welcome. Hey Donna, welcome. Daddy, hey, 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 Daddy. Uh, okay, so we see now number two. Okay, so number two was a was a big issue. Okay, and yeah, number two was a a breakthrough for me. So as you're as you're going uh, through here, oh wait. Did my stream stop? Hold on. Okay. I don't know why, but it's saying that um can you guys still see my slide? Huh. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so it's saying that the stream stopped. Can you see me or hear me? Okay, let me post in the... Uh... Okay, that's weird. Okay, so it went out for a little bit, you guys. I think it's back now. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was my internet feed. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so it's saying that the stream stopped. Can you see me or hear me? Okay, so I don't know what happened there, you guys. That's technology for you. So for some reason, it said that my stream, my, my video stopped streaming. So it should be coming up now. Okay, that's fine. All right, as long as you can see see my screen, let me see what you guys can see. Okay, let me go back here. Okay, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> that's the first time that it ever happened. It said that the stream stopped. So we're back now because I'm pulling up and I'm actually watching the same video that you guys are watching. So I saw that that was happening. So we should be up and running now. Can you guys see me and hear me? Put in the comment section. That was weird. I don't know if it's my internet connection or what, but okay, good. You can you can hear me. Okay, cool. All right. Can you can you see me? And I think there's a little delay too, so I'll wait a little bit. I think you guys are like a minute behind me behind the live feed. So can you can you see me? And then we'll get right back into it. Okay, cool. All right, good. I don't, I don't know what happened, you guys. <laughs> I've been doing Hangouts before, but I've never had that happen. So, okay, cool. I was hoping that I didn't have to, like, open up a new Hangout and put a new video in. So, okay, we're good. We're good. We're rocking and rolling. All right, so I'll go ahead and continue this on. So I'm going to put my slides back up again. That's technology for you. All right, so we're, we're back. All right. So let's get back to where we left off. So uh, I was noticing that you guys were saying uh, number two and it looks like number number two and number one was the biggest mistakes. Okay, cool. All right, so we'll get back here and I'm just going to make sure I keep my video up here so that way I know um, if there's any more future problems. 
okay, so how many of you guys are ready now for the right way? So you, you know what you're doing wrong, so you say, okay, I'm ready to fix it now. Okay, so if you see here, there's a picture of a marketing target, is what I call it. Um, so this is our target market. So some of you may have heard the phrase target market. Now, a target market is, if you break it down, um, let's break it down by words, right? Target and a market. A market is usually a place where people go to shop, right? So when you think of a market, you think of like the supermarket. So it's a place where people go to shop for foods and food and other items that are found in a market. Now, a target is something that people specifically aim at, right? So this is like an example of a target board. Uh, a target is usually something people aim at specifically. So if you put it together, when people in the marketing world talk about a target market, who's your target market for your business opportunity? Or who's your target market for your product or service? They're talking about who are the people that are in the market for a business opportunity or in the market for the product or service that you have. So they are actively shopping for, for it or something similar to it. Okay. So when it comes to Facebook, remember I said you have to be aware of the audience awareness level on Facebook, who they, who they are and wh where, where are they coming from when they see your, your marketing on Facebook. So there's different awareness levels. So anytime you market anything in front of anybody, they have different awareness levels. So let me break it down. There are some people who are just not aware. They're not even aware that they have a problem. They don't even think that they have a problem. They're not even looking for a solution. They're good. Then there's people who have a problem and they know they have a problem. So I'll give you an example here. Um, I'll give you an example here in a little bit. So there's people who are problem aware. Then there are people who they know they have a problem and they're actively searching for a specific solution to it. And then there's people who they know they have a problem, they're looking for a specific solution, and then they find the name of a specific problem, that, a product that is a solution, or a specific service, or a specific business opportunity that is a solution. And then now that they're aware of that specific product or service or business opportunity, they are not aware of like how much it costs. They're offer aware. So let me give you an example. If you're like, okay, I don't, I don't get this. Let me give you an example. Network marketing, right? Because the most majority of you are probably in a home-based business. In a home-based business, most people get started in a home-based business because they have some problem in their life. And I'm willing to bet that majority of you or all of you on this hangout that are in a home-based business this is probably how your whole journey to getting started in your company went down because it's similar to me. You had some problem in your life that you wanted to fix. So maybe you wanted to walk away from your job. Maybe you wanted to pay off debt like I did. Maybe you wanted to have time freedom to be able maybe to travel the world or spend, it, spend more time with your kids. There was some problem that you had and then you started looking for the solution. Or someone presented the solution to you, maybe a friend or a family member or, or a coworker or whatever. But you started looking for a solution, maybe. So you started going maybe online or just searching for, hmm, how do I maybe get started in a home-based business? So you start maybe searching for, you know, maybe online for home-based business opportunities or home-based business or how to work from home. Maybe if you want to, you know, walk away from your job and work from home, you started searching for how to work from home. And then you found out about something called the network marketing industry. For, you know, what is network marketing? Is network marketing a scam? So you start searching for more information about this industry that you heard of. And then you start saying, okay, this sounds like a, you know, a pretty cool way to make money from home in my own business. So then you start hearing about all these different companies maybe. So you start researching these different companies. So maybe you may hear of, you know, Paycation Travel or Total Life Changes or Five Links. And you start typing in Five Links Review or Paycation Travel Review or World Ventures Review, Mary Kay Review, to learn more information about that particular company. So when you became aware of these companies, you were product aware now. So you're aware of a specific solution and you're looking for it by name. So Five Links Review, Mary Kay Review. And then once you find out more about the company, you start seeing all these different reps that are in the company. And now Offer Aware will be someone now being aware of a person that they can join. So that's usually the process that all of us went through, majority of us went through, when it came to this industry. So what does this mean for you? When you're marketing on Facebook, you need to ask yourself how aware or what level of awareness level do people on Facebook have? Because if let's say you're, let's say you're marketing to somebody who they're solution aware, like they know they want to start a home-based business. 
But if you immediately approach them with, hey, I got a home based business opportunity. Hey, you want to check it out? It's like the best opportunity in the world. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow your, slow your horses down now. Wait a second. I don't even know if I even want to be in the network marketing industry yet. I don't even know if it's legit yet. But you're coming at me and you're telling me that you already have a business opportunity. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now you look pushy. Now you look like, you know, you're trying to push me into something because you're trying to you're trying to treat me as somebody who's offer aware. Well, I'm just still here at the solution aware stage. I'm just still kind of like looking at what options I have. Let's say somebody is just problem aware. They just know I just want to make some additional money. But you come at them and say, oh, well, I got a home based business and you can make you know, additional money in my home based business. You can get started. Now you're treating this problem aware person as if they're offer aware. When they're just like, look, I just want to make extra money. I don't even know yet if I want to make extra money in a home based business, let alone a home based business in the network marketing industry, let alone in a uh, home based business in a network marketing industry in your company, and let alone with you. So you're trying to push me too far ahead. So when it comes to Facebook, you need to know where they're at usually in terms of their awareness level when they see your marketing. And most people are targeting people on Facebook who are problem aware. Most people on Facebook, you know, they're, they're usually at that stage. Problem is most people are marketing to them as if they are offer aware, as if they are already sold out on getting started in a home-based business, already sold out and joining their company. When that's not the case, and that is probably the reason why here's the results most people are getting. They're not making money in their business. So what's the solution? You have to know your audience's awareness level. So tonight I'm going to share with you how to target your Facebook marketing to people who are product aware and offer aware. So how do you talk to people on Facebook who are already aware of your specific company, already are interested in getting started in a home-based business, already thinking about joining your specific company, how do you find those people on Facebook? So this is a really cool way of Facebook marketing that most people have never heard of. So let me first talk about online marketing first, and then we'll talk about Facebook. So the, the keys to online marketing, this is what you do with any form of marketing online. So whether you're doing Facebook, blogging, video marketing, online marketing, just boils down to three things. You're creating traffic, you're capturing leads, and you're converting those leads into sales. So what do I mean by creating traffic? You're getting exposure. You're getting people in front of your specific business opportunity or your product or service. So then once you're converting, once you're getting that traffic, right, once you're getting in front of people, you're asking them, hey, do you want to take a look at my, you know, more information about my business? And you drive them to a page where they can now put in their email address to get more information about your business. Once they now request more information, then you now close them into your business as a new distributor or as a customer. So that's really the only thing that you're doing online. It doesn't matter what strategy you do. It doesn't matter if you're doing Instagram. It doesn't matter if you're doing Facebook. If you're doing blogging or video, that's all you're doing. You're creating traffic and driving people to a page where they can now put in their email address to get more information about your business, and then now connecting with them through email, through Facebook, that's what I'm gonna show you tonight, and now closing them into your business. Okay, so now that we know that's what we're doing with online marketing, how do we use Facebook now to recruit reps? Well, you can use Facebook for each of those three keys to online marketing. So you can use Facebook to create traffic, to get in front of people, to now have them take a look at your, your, your business. So you can use Facebook to create traffic. Um, I call it front door marketing. It's like getting people in the front door, getting people to now request information from you. And you can use Facebook to do that. One way is Facebook ads. I'm not going to talk about that tonight. I'm actually going to share a free way, and I'm going to talk about um, how to convert leads into sales using Facebook tonight. But I'm just giving you guys like the overview of all the different things you can do with Facebook. That's one way you can do it. You can use Facebook to capture leads. So you can use Facebook to now have people put in their email address to learn more information about your home-based business. You can do that. You can use Facebook to now write really compelling status updates so that now people inbox you and say, hey, I hear you talk about some business. What is this business? So that's how I started getting all of those little inbox messages that you saw earlier. I was putting certain kind of status updates, different than what most people put. 
you know, most people talk about their business all the time. I put different kinds of status updates on my wall to get people to be curious and say, well, what are you doing? What type of business are you in? So that's another way you can use Facebook. But tonight, I'm going to show you how to use Facebook to close people into your business who are already thinking about joining your business, who are already serious about starting a home-based business, and they're already thinking about joining your business. How to use Facebook to now close them into your business. So here are the steps to Facebook marketing to get results for your business. The first step, when you, before you do any sort of marketing on Facebook, you want to know your outcome. So remember, I said there's three ways that you can get results in your business with Facebook. You can use Facebook to get traffic. You can use Facebook to, to capture leads. Or, and you can use Facebook to convert leads into sales. You need to, before you even do any marketing on Facebook, get clear on what's your outcome, what's your intention, what result do you want to get first. Do you want to use Facebook to create traffic? Do you want to use Facebook to now capture leads, get leads, get people to say, yes, I want more information about your business. Here's my email address. Send me information about your business. Or do you want to use Facebook to now convert leads into sales, to close people now? Once you know your outcome, step two is now choosing the right strategy for your outcome. And then now knowing what your what awareness level your, your, your prospect is. Are they front door or back door? And remember I said capturing, creating traffic and capturing leads are like front door. You're getting them in the front door. Front door is anything before they give you their email address. And then now, back door is what we're going to cover tonight. Once they have expressed an interest, how do you now close them, sign them up? And so step three is now get results. So know your outcome, know res what result you want to get from your Facebook marketing. Step two, choose the right strategy. So if you say, look, I want to learn how to create traffic. I want to get in front of more people and I want to use Facebook to get more exposure. Well, then you know that you could do Facebook ads or you could do really compelling status updates to now get people to inbox you. So you use the right strategy. If you say, well, you know what, I want to learn how to close people on Facebook, then now you would use a backdoor strategy, which I'm going to talk about tonight. Okay, so here's my strategy. Now this is what, this is like, uh, the way I came up with this was, you know, like I said, I'm not a networker, a net, net, I'm not a, I'm not someone who likes networking, okay? Uh, and I'm, I consider myself very shy when it comes to like connecting with people, but I don't mind talking to people who I know already have some interest in talking to me, if that makes sense. I don't know if some of you guys are like that. The idea of like just randomly connecting with people on Facebook was just weird to me. So I was like, okay, how can I build a relationship with people first in a way that I'm cool with? And then now that I know that they're already built a relationship with me, how do I now connect with them on Facebook? Okay, so here's my back door strategy, a Facebook backdoor marketing strategy. Step one, use blogging and video marketing to create traffic and generate leads. So remember, I said online marketing boils down to three things, create traffic, capture leads, convert leads into sales. So what I did is I used blogging and video marketing to get traffic and to create leads. So to get people to give me their email address and now say, yes, I want more information about your business. So I use blogging and video marketing to get leads and create traffic. And then step two is now you connect with those leads on Facebook. So let's say you see a video or a blog post of mine and you say, hey, this seems interesting. And I say, go to my website to learn more. And you go to my website to learn more and you put in your email address. What I did in the very beginning is I would now take your email address, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually do it live and demo it because I have generated some leads today, so I'm actually going to do this live so you see it and you see the process. I will find that person on Facebook and connect with them. And I have no problem talking to doing that because this is somebody who already requested information from me. And I feel more better, and I want a Facebook network. I want friends on Facebook who I know are already serious about starting a home-based business. I'd rather build a, a friend list of those people right, of those people. And then now I convert them into my business. So tonight I'm going to go over how to use blogging and video marketing to get traffic and then I'm going to share with you guys a live demo like on the spot here of me actually doing this, connecting with the lead on Facebook, okay? So let me give you an example. Let's say you're in five links. I'm not in five links. 
that are associated with it. A lot of um, the people, myself, and a lot of the people that invited um, people to this hangout tonight have worked with people in different companies. And so we've worked with people in Five Links. So I'm just using that as an example, right? So let's say I'm in Five Links. What you want to do is you want to use a tool, it's a free tool called the Google Keyword Tool. And let me just make sure that you guys can still see my screen here. Okay, it looks like you can still see it. All right. So there's a, a free tool called the Google Keyword Tool. So if you Google Google Keyword Tool and you click on Google Keyword Planner, what you have to do is create a free account. And then once you create your account, you sign in, right? And then once you sign in, what this tool does is it shows you what people are already searching for on online. So remember, I said we want to get in front of people who are what we call product aware. They're already aware of your home based business and they're searching for reviews on it. So if I was in five links, what you do is I click on this search for new keywords and I'll put in something like like if I'm if I'm thinking about joining five links but I'm just not quite sure about it, what what kind of things would I be searching for? I'd be searching for like five links review five links compensation plan because I want to know how you know how do you make money in this and how much do I get paid right if I join five links business review five links business opportunity review something like that right so you just type in certain phrases that you think someone who may be looking for your company would, would type in to get more information about your company so usually what I'm finding is that um, you could put in the name of your company and then review the name of your company and then conversation plan. Name of your company, business review. And then what's cool about this is if you scroll down and click get ideas, it actually shows you how many searches this these phrases are getting in Google. So if you click keyword ideas and scroll down, it shows you right now, right, there's 590 searches each month on Google for filings compensation plan. So we know people who are searching for filings compensation plan are probably somebody who's thinking about joining and they're serious about joining, but they just want to know a little bit more about how to get paid before they join. Five links review, 720 searches. But if you scroll down, the tool will actually recommend other phrases that you may not even thought of. Like, I would have never thought of five links compensa compensation plan 2014. So what I did and what I learned how to do and what those of you know who invited you on this hangout tonight, we got partnered. We learned how to use these phrases, how to now use video marketing and blogging so that now if someone was to type in five links compensation plan, our video will pop up on YouTube, our blog post will show up, and now we're getting in front of people who are already searching for more information about our business. So now you're getting traffic from people who are already thinking about joining your company. So then in our blog posts and our videos, we say, hey, you know, if you want to get more information, go to our website. And what we do is we drive them. Let me show you an example. We drive them to what we call a lead capture page website. You probably, if you've been online for any period of time, you probably went to somebody else's lead capture page website. And what it does is it looks like this. It's like a simple website that adds for your email address. So what we learn how to do, right, through training is we learn how to do blog posts. We learn how to do videos. We learn how to do Facebook marketing so that now we can drive people right, to our Facebook posts, to our videos, to our blog posts, and now ask them to take a look and drive them to our page. It looks something kind of like this, but it'll be, you know, it, it'd be customized to whatever company you're promoting. Um, and now they put in their email address to get more information about your business. And then here's what I do. Once they opt in and become a lead, once I have their email address, what I did, this is the Facebook backdoor marketing strategy, I search for them on Facebook by their email address. So I'm going to give you an example. I had a guy come in today, Arvin, um, he might be on this hangout. So hi Arvin if you're on here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a live demo. I actually generated um, some leads today. I think it was like last I checked before this hangout it was like 14 leads, right, for the day. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I know Arvin came in earlier today, I'm actually going to do a live demo. I'm going to now add him on Facebook as a friend because again, I would much rather connect with somebody on Facebook who I know is already searching for more information 
about what I have to offer. And he's already, and they've already seen my videos. They've already seen, you know, um, my blog posts and everything. So let me go here. Oh, I'm at 15, so I got to leave while I was on this hangout tonight. Okay, so let me... I wanted to do it without having to show everybody's uh, email addresses. Okay, let me just do this real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for... Uh, what's his name? Arvin. Okay, so Arvin... Okay, so he came in today at 9, 19 a.m., right? So I'm gonna, this is what I do. So I generate, I learn how to generate leads through blogging and through videos. And I would come in, take the email address, and then what I would do is I would go here to Facebook in the search box and copy and paste. Okay, copy and paste their information. And let me see, okay. So if I don't see it, so like here's what happens. If if you copy and paste and you don't see their information, if they're, they're either not on Facebook or they didn't use that email address to, to sign up for their Facebook account. So that email address is not attached to their Facebook account. So I would search and see Arvin didn't come up this way. But what I would also do is if they didn't come up with their email address, if I can see from their email address what their first and last name is, so I can see clearly his is Arvin Missick, that's his name. I would just search for Arvin Missick, and here he is. And how do you know if this is the right person? Um, he has here Houston, Texas, and what's cool about my email autoresponder is it says Houston, Texas. So I believe this is my Arvin. So what I'm going to do is I am going to now. Okay, so he doesn't have the the uh, the Facebook feature. Uh, or the uh, the feature for me to request him as a friend. So I'll just send him a Facebook message. Now the thing with this, with Facebook, that you got to be careful about is if you start doing a lot of Facebook messages and you're not already connected to people as a friend, they could put you in what they call Facebook jail, where they will deactivate your ability to now, you know, use all the features of Facebook. So usually, most cases, if I see where I can't send somebody. Uh, a friend request, I won't even message them. But I'll message him, and I just won't do a lot of people like that. Most of the cases, um, you'll either find people on Facebook or you won't. There will be some of your leads who they didn't use that email address when they signed up to Facebook. So I'm just giving you guys, like, realistic expectations. And then you'll have this case where they may even have that feature turn off where they can't, you know, you can't send them a friend request. So I will send him a message. Right? I'll send him a message and connect with him and let him know, hey, you came to my website earlier. I just wanted to connect with you, let you know I'm a real person. Um, just want to know how I can help you in any way or answer any questions you have. And let me tell you something. Just from reaching out like that, you stand out. Because those of you probably know, all these online marketers, very rarely right, can you get one to come out from hiding behind their computer to really kind of interact and engage with you. So most people are like, like, whoa, wow, you actually interact with me? And they sign up just because wow, you actually made an effort to talk to me, right, to connect with me. So that's what I did in the beginning. Even when I wasn't generating like 14 leads or 15 leads like I am now, I would generate one, three leads a day, and I would connect with them. And that's how I started getting sales. I started making money, and that's how I was able to scale up. So that is the Facebook backdoor strategy. So let me go back to my slides here. How many of you think that's a cool way? So now, as you're adding all these people on Facebook, these are people who you know have already in some way through blogging or video expressed an interest in your business. So why not add them as a friend on Facebook? So now, as you are making posts about your business, making posts about you know how much you're enjoying your business opportunity, you know being able to now earn extra income, you have a good audience of people who you know were already thinking about joining your business in the first place. And because you made that effort in reaching out to them that most marketers won't, they're going to be, if, when they're ready, they're going to be more likely to now join with you. As you saw with Rashida earlier um, in my earlier slide where she joined a couple of days later. I did that same strategy with her. Let me go back. Uh, let's see. Right here. See, so she came in, opted in. I did the same thing that I just did. Um, I just blacked out her, you know, privacy information, whatever, right? Um, so then I added her as a friend on Facebook, connected with her, and she said, hey, you found me. <laughs> hey, you found me on Facebook. And 
right? So that, this was on September 23rd. Three days later, she signs up. A lot of times, if you, again, it came from the process of blogging a video, getting in front of my ideal person, building a relationship, giving them good information through my videos, through my blogs, and now connecting with them on Facebook. When you do that, you guys, everything changes because people just want a connection. They just want to know, okay, you're a real person. All right, you made an effort. Okay, that, that makes all the difference. Okay, so for those of you, how many of you, that was a big breakthrough. Put, that, put it in the comment section below this video if that was like, you never heard anyone talk about that strategy before or you feel like you can do it, like it's doable for you. Does it make you feel weird or spammy? It's just like, hey, you know, you requested information from me and just wanted to connect with you. Now, not all people will respond back to you, um, but the ones that do usually sign up, just from my experience. Um, and, and because, again, it's, you are making an effort to get to know them. Right, you are actually, you know, connecting with them on a personal level where most internet marketers won't. They are hiding behind their computer. So, how many of you like that backdoor, backdoor method? Does it make you feel weird or spammy? It's just like, hey. So let me see. And you can put it in the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and move on here. So for those of you who are like, okay, I, I can see myself doing this. Definitely with my personality, I, I could, you know, connect with people who have already requested information about my business. Cool. So for those of you who want to apply this to your business, I want to share with you guys how I learned this, where this training came from. I, I would like to have you all believe that I'm just that smart, but I wasn't clearly because I struggled for two years <laughs> in this business until I really learned the right way to, to, to do this. So those of you that were invited by someone other than me on this uh, hangout, they were someone who got plugged into Empower Networks training to build their existing business. And it has changed their results so much that they wanted to invite you on here so you can get some real good training and learn how to now take it and now apply it to your business. So what is Empower Network? Um, Empower Network is a blogging platform, and it also provides online marketing training for network marketers, people who have an existing business, and they want to promote their business, not another system, not another company. They want to just promote their business, and they want to get more exposure, more leads, and recruit more reps and make more product sales in their business. So why, why, why blogging? What's the big deal about blogging? Like I mentioned with the five links example, blogging allows you to get in front of people who are already searching for more information about your product or service. So I'll give you guys an example um, because we, we talk a lot about recruiting, but you can actually do this to actually sell more of your products or services. So let's say, again, I'm in five links. Let me go to their website. There's an actual service they have called the, what is it? Data Vault service, which is like an online, uh, online backup service. So if you have like a lot of files on your computer, right? Um, you can use this service to like protect your files. So let's say I'm in file links, which I'm not, okay, but I'm just giving an example because I work with people in file links. Let's say you're in file links and you wanted to promote this service. So you can go to your company's website and go to the product page that you want to promote, right? So the, the page of the product that you want to promote. So let's say I want to promote this data vault online backup service. What's cool about that Google Keyword Planner that we used earlier to search for, you know, five links review, five links conversation plan. What you can do, and I'm gonna give you guys a little killer nugget here, because you guys hung around this long. Um, let me clear, I cleared that out, right? What you could do is take the web page, so copy and paste, so copy this link, whatever, right, to, to whatever that your company's um, product is. So I'm copying this whole website here for this data vault. And you can now, instead of putting in keywords in this box, where it says your landing page on the Google Keyword Planner, you can now paste the link to that website. And what it's going to do is it's going to show you what phrases people are searching for to find that page or your company's website for that product. So basically, it shows you who are the people that are already going to your company's page, right? What kind of traffic your company is getting for that product. And what phrases are people typing in to find that? Because guess what? We want to get in front of those same people too. So if I click on keyword ideas, look what comes up. 
online backup reviews. Do you think if I'm selling an online backup service, I want to get in front of people who are searching for online backup reviews? Heck yeah, 880 searches a month. So it's kicking out all of these different phrases. And now what we can do is Empower shows you how to take those phrases and now do blogging, do videos, so that now when someone types in, for example, online file storage, your video pops up. Your blog post shows up on Google. So how cool is that? So you can now look at all of these different phrases that this free tool gives you that if anyone is searching for any of these phrases, they would be a good, best online backup. Data Vault is an online backup service. So if someone's searching for the best online backup, I want to get in front of those people, right? How to backup files. I want to get in front of those people. And so this tool shows you how now, and now Empower Network shows you how to use these phrases to get in front of those people. So that's the power of blogging and, you know, using blogging in your marketing. Now you may be saying, okay, does this, you know, this sounds good, but does it really work? So let me give you an example. Like I said, Empower Network is designed to give you massive exposure for your existing business. So it doesn't matter what you're promoting. Um, so it's, I had someone who, Jennifer McGrawby, is a Five Links distributor. And she got plugged into a video marketing training that we have. So anyone that invited you to this hangout tonight, they, you also, if you sign up with them tonight, they have access to this as well. It's not just me, but anybody. If you were invited by Terry Malvo um, or any of the any other leaders that you were that you were um, invited by, they have access to these same things too that you're going to hear about. So Jennifer plugged into the video marketing training that we have, and she said, "I just got started with video marketing training, and it helped me be on top of YouTube for my company keyword. So for a five links keyword, one of the videos I put out there has over 200 views within just two days. Thank you for your help." Jazendra Cousin, some of you may have been invited by her. She has really mastered blogging. Because of our training inside of Empower Network, she got over 100 people to her blog in 30 minutes, in a half hour. And so she's been using blogging and her passion. She loves to write. She loves to use storytelling to now grow her business using blogging. Terry Malvo uh, was able to generate 43 leads for her business in four hours because of what she learned here inside of Empower Network. Um, let me see here if, okay, hopefully you guys can still see my slides. All right. So Terry has been able to get results very quickly. Um, and again, mastering blogging, mastering Facebook marketing, and generated 43 leads in only four hours. Um, let's go back to Jennifer McGrawby, right? So she got massive exposure. Remember, the three keys to online marketing is getting traffic, so a lot of exposure through to your videos, to your blogs, to your Facebook posts. Then with that exposure, you're asking them, hey, come take a look at my website. Go to my website and now put in your email address. So remember, Jennifer McGrawby got 200 views in two days. You say, okay, well, that's cool and all, you know, 200 views, that's nice, but did that result in anything? In leads or sales, what happened? So here's what happened. She said, I got two leads today. I never got them that quick before ever. I'm working on getting more results. Actually, I did get them that fast before, but it was all paid advertising. So she used to do paid marketing. She used to pay to do marketing for her business. And she said, this is free and I'm getting them. So she started getting leads quickly from her uh, videos because of what she was learning in our training inside of Empower Network. Lee Rowland, you guys saw his uh, his results earlier. He used our Facebook status updates training to start posting some um, some status updates on his Facebook personal page. And he said, I already have people ask me what it is I do because of what I learned from your video. So because of what he learned from our training, he started having people inboxing him like people were inboxing me that I showed you guys earlier. So he said, okay, well, that's great. People are inboxing him, but did it translate into dollars in his business? Well... You guys saw earlier um, in the slides that he actually got someone signed up, right, with Facebook. Let me move back here so you guys can see that right here. So he had people asking what it is that he did because he mastered traffic. So he mastered putting his Facebook status updates on there and now having them inbox him for more information. So he mastered leads. And what happens is once you master traffic, once you master leads, he had a sign up. And he said yes. Like I mentioned earlier, you say, yes, I've been working with her for a while now. I just did what I learned from you, and that was Facebook marketing, okay? So if you're looking for massive exposure 
for your business, right? You want to be able to get in front of more people, hundreds of people, to promote your business. That's what Empower Network can do for you. That's what it did for Jennifer McGrabby. That's what it did for Jazendra. That's what it did for uh, now Terry, more leads. So maybe you want to get more leads for your business. Terry was able to do that as well. Jennifer McGrabby with a free strategy. Lee Rowland with Facebook. Um, Felicia actually used an email script that we have where we can get people now, once they are on your list, once they become a lead, how do I get people to book a time to talk with you? So this is different than, remember, I was sharing in my story earlier how I used to pay for these leads from other companies, and they didn't know who the heck I was, and so by the time I called them, they were screaming at me or they didn't pick up the phone. I've learned now, right, we've all learned, those are uh, the people that invited you on this hangout, we've learned how to do blogging, how to do video marketing, how to do online marketing so that now we have people generate, becoming a lead, requesting more information about our business, but then now having them book a phone appointment to talk to us. So Felicia used one of our little email templates that plug and play. She just copied and pasted the email, and she already had leads, right? So she, what she did is she sent this email out that we gave her, and she said, you are the bond diggity. I took your advice on a strategy that you're using to reach more people, and I'm excited to share that I implemented what you suggested, and boom, I sent the email out this morning, and I'm already getting responses. So she has a link to someone booking an appointment to talk to her. How many of you would like to actually have people, you know, you're not, you're not chasing people anymore, but now they're coming to you, and they're like, look, I want to book a time to actually talk to you because I'm serious about learning more about your business. Some of you may just want more sales. So Cherie King, she said, when I first joined Empower, I joined so that it could help me with my MLM to boost customer sales. So some of you just may want customer sales. She said, and not so much to recruit. But I simply blog daily about things pertaining to my company. It's health and wellness. So I did those type of posts for 90 days, following the things that I was taught in the name, which is our training site, and in Empower. And she said, I've since been getting customers for these products nonstop from the work that I did months ago. So from blog posts that she wrote months ago, she's still getting customer sales from it. So that's the good thing about online marketing. So once you put these videos out there, once you put these blog posts out there, they're out there permanently, right? So now they're out there working for you. I always say it's like you're cloning yourself. So I could do the video once. And like, remember, I was saying on the Hangout, I already got a lead. I don't know where they came from while I've been on this Hangout. I didn't have to go talk to somebody. My video talked for me. So I cloned myself. That's the power of online marketing. Janelle Glenn, she said, my first check is on the way. In my first company, I didn't earn a thing. For two and a half years, she didn't make any money, you guys. With the skills I'm learning in a power network, it got me earning checks. I still can't believe it. Um, there's another example, Christopher Wright, who was in a health and wellness company. He had tried doing his own blog, doing his own website, and he wasn't making any money. He had never made even his first sale online. He had made some sales offline, but he just couldn't figure out this whole online thing. And so he said, I was able to finish my three websites today. I got my first lead and my first customer, which is my first sale, thanks to you and your skills. So Jennifer McGrath, remember her? She's our five links person, right? So remember, she got 200 views. Let's go back. She got she mastered traffic using our training, so she got 200 views in two days to her five links video. Then she started getting leads, right? So remember I said you master traffic, you master leads, what comes next? Here's what happened for her. She, she signed up into Empower August 27th and about a week and a half later got her first sale online because she mastered the steps. Maybe you want to hit the leaderboard inside of your company. So Arnold Haynes got started with us and a month and a half later hit the leaderboard inside of his company. Uh, for most sales, you're looking at here, there's different categories. So there was a category for mo most sales for the previous day. So he ended up getting on the leaderboard the top 10. He was number seven for the most sales in his company in one day after being in a power for a month and a half because of what he learned. Um, and he was so excited about it. He put in our Facebook group. He's like, first time hitting the leaderboard for anything. I'm hyped. Let's get it. So that's good, you know, for us. Our... Uh, you know, for all of the people that invited you on this hangout, if it was me or if it was someone else, our passion is helping those people. It's helping the Arnolds of the world. It's helping the, you know, uh, Jennifer McGrabby's, the people who, the, the Christopher Wrights. It's the people who 
never had a lot of success online. Not the people who were big leaders before and they just came over. It's the people who were like me, who struggled. That's where our heart is at. That's who we are passionate about helping. Um, Priscilla is a mom. And, you know, a lot of, I don't know if those of you who are, if any of you are moms here on the Hangout, but a lot of us, right, a lot of people who are moms, I'm not a mom, not yet, but, um, you know, the goal is you want to have some, some freedom, right? So I, I meet a lot of women who are moms who want to be able to start a business so they can walk away from their job or just have more time for their family. But the problem is <laughs> they get started in a business and the business starts consuming their life, right? So then they're like, hey, I started a business to have more time, but I actually have less time now. What's up with that? So what Priscilla learned is how to now do this online marketing so that it is automated. So she can have marketing out there working for her so much to the point where she didn't even realize she had got a sale. So I saw that she had got a sale and I congratulated her. I put it in the Facebook group. And you see Terry here congratulating her. It's like, congratulations, Priscilla. You know, I'm proud of you. You got a sale. And she was like, wow, that's awesome. I didn't even know. So how many of you would like to have a business that runs so much without you that you can make sales and you don't even have to know about it because you're not physically involved? That's the power of online marketing. Your business should work without you. That's the whole point of a business. So she was like, wow, that's awesome. I didn't even know I had to sell. Woohoo! talk about autopilot. So she was probably out enjoying her kids, enjoying her life, doing whatever she was doing. And she made money because, again, she had systems out there in place. She had blog posts. She had videos. She had marketing out there that was doing the work for her so that now she could go live her life. Courtney Carter so I received an email saying someone signed up under me in my business and I didn't even know them. Again, first time ever. I got to keep learning. I want to change lives. So I just want to pull this in for you and say, you know, what is your why? A lot of us came in because we wanted to make more money in our business because maybe we had debt or we wanted more time freedom or we wanted to spend more time with our kids or we wanted to travel the world. What was it for you? And here's what I want you to, to walk away with tonight. You don't have to wait three to five years to start experiencing it, experiencing that freedom or experiencing that, that um, time freedom or financial freedom. Now, you can start experiencing it as you're building your business when you're marketing the right way. So for me, I didn't want to be tied down all the time to a business like I was that tip job that I had, right? So what I learned is how to use blogging, how to use video, how to use online marketing so that now while I'm sleeping, as you can see here on the screen, I had someone come in and request more information about my business. They put their email address in to learn more about my business at 2.25 in the morning. Now at 2.25, I'm sleeping, right? I'm just, tur I'm turning over good. I'm in that deep, you know, that deep stage of sleep, right? I, 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 <laughs> I may even be drooling, but I'm not working my business, but my business is working for me because that person may have saw a video. They may have saw a blog post. That's freedom. I didn't have to be a top leader to experience that. All I had to do was just put a video up or a blog post up, and now anybody, any time of the day can watch it while I'm living my life or while I'm sleeping. So if you wanted freedom, you can experience that with this kind of marketing. Um, there's some more leads that I generated in the middle of the night. Um, maybe you wanted to experience mass fun and mastery, right? You want to actually enjoy your business. Um, so maybe you just wanted to, you know, enjoy what you do. So maybe you hate having to market the way that you market because you are facing so much rejection and you just want to, like, have fun, right? You want to enjoy what you do. You want to be able to, you know, put marketing out there, talk to people, connect with people, where now they actually see the value of what it is you have to offer, your product or your service or your business, and they just join. They get it and they join right away. So Cherise here, as you see, she went to my website, opted in, right? She probably came from a video or a blog post that I did, put in her email address on, as you see here with the arrows, June 10th. Okay, so she put in her email address June 10th, and then the same day signs up. Now, how many of you would like to master marketing and recruiting that much where now some people, because it's not going to be everybody, I'm be real, not everybody's going to sign up the same day now, but... If you're not getting same-day signups, that's telling me that you haven't really mastered marketing or you're not getting in front of the right people yet um, because it can happen and it should happen. Um, Heather, again, signed, opts in, puts in her email address to get more information about my business March 20th. Same-day signs up, right? Now, this is not everybody, but 
you're going to have that happen when you master the skill, when you master now getting in front of the right people, when you're getting in front of people who are already thinking about it joining in the first place. Maybe you wanted to start your business because you wanted more money. And you've seen my results here. You've seen the results of the people that, um, that I showed you. That's possible from what you're learning because your impact, you're, you're getting in front of people who are already searching for what it is you have to offer. Maybe you're like me and you're stuck in a job that you hated because when I had that temp job, all I did was I showed up and I reviewed documents all day. I was in a room with a bunch of other, you know, 10 to 15 other disgruntled, you know, licensed attorneys who really was only there because they couldn't find a job anywhere else. So you can imagine how unpleasant they were and how much like, we just really didn't want to talk to each other because we were miserable and we hated being there. So I was stuck in a room like that for eight hours a day, you guys, Monday through Friday. And I felt like all I was doing was just churning out documents all day. And it's, it's, a, it's a very empty feeling and unfulfilling feeling when you feel like the work that you're doing, you don't really see the impact. Like all you're doing is just pushing documents. And you don't know if like what you're doing is actually impacting lives. And that's how I felt. And that's why I hated going to work every single day. Well, now in your business, you guys, as you are mastering these skills and you're getting results, you can now get on a call for your team. You're on a team call or, you know, I told you guys I had the pleasure of speaking on stage. You have the ability to reach out, you know, to other people and now share what you're learning and impact, impact their lives. So as you see here, um, I spoke on a call and, and Jason Hodge was like, wow, I love the way that you broke down making decisions. The more you invest in your education and business and in life, the more you can benefit those around you. So he was just sharing what I had um, shared on the call and it impacted him. And I was like, wow, okay, I'm putting videos out here. I'm putting blog posts out here. And people are commenting and talking about how, you know, what I shared helped them. It's a powerful thing when what you do every day in your business, you can see the impact you're having even as you're working your way up to the top. Again, um, somebody was saying, you know, pure gold from Angela this morning. He shared some of the questions that I was uh, talking about on that particular call that Doug was on. So he said, you know, he was kind of like sharing his takeaways and I was asking this question, what problems do I need to solve to achieve what I want? What new decision do I need to make and how can I back up this new decision with new actions? You know, you will see things like this happening where as you're out here sharing valuable content, as you're connecting with the right people in the right way, they actually are receptive of it. They, they, you know, like Rashida you saw earlier, she was like, hey girl, you found me on Facebook. Like they interact with you in a, in a better, in a deeper way and they're appreciative because you're now sharing something, you're sharing something of value, you're helping them. And I don't know, for those of you who just want to do work or you want to do things in your business where you know like I'm helping people out, like I'm making a difference with my life, you can do that and you can experience that with our training. So for those of you who this was impactful to you, like you're saying, okay, I know what I was doing wrong, I'm ready to do it right, Angela, I'm ready to get results. Um, if you sign up by 5 p.m. tomorrow, Thursday, what we're going to do is we're going to give you three Facebook bonuses and that special video marketing training that is similar to the one that Jennifer watched. It's actually an even better one that we did that goes more in depth. But what we're going to do is we're going to get you started the right way. So here's what you're going to get. If you sign up by 5 p.m. Thursday, which is tomorrow, um, the first bonus you get is our Facebook recruiting script. So remember, I shared tonight how to do blogging and videos to get people to now give you their email address to learn more about your business. And they even showed you how to now look up once they have, once you have their email address, how to find them on Facebook. But what we're going to give you as a bonus um, is to now show you what to say. Like once you send the friend request, what do you say now to get them to now sign up into your business? So that's Facebook bonus number one. So we don't, because we don't want to like, we want you to now, you know, have everything you need, right, to get results. Facebook bonus number two is we're going to show you how to do Facebook ads. So for some of you who may have some money, it doesn't take a lot, but for some of you who may have some money and you want to do some ads, I'm going to show you guys how I generate over 16 leads a day using Facebook ads, how I've used Facebook ads to generate over 16 leads a day before. Uh, and then Facebook three uh, bonus is the Facebook status update training. Now this is the training that Lee Rowland used, um, and this is the training that, um, let me go back, that Lee Rowland used to have people reaching out to him, inboxing him, saying, I already have people ask me what it is that I do. It's the same status updates that I was using to have these people from earlier 
if I can find them, inboxing me about my business right here. See, Jasmine said, hey, I saw a couple of your status updates. So what this training does is it actually shows you what the status updates were that I was doing. So that's why Lee Rowland watched it and he was just literally able to just copy and paste and do the same thing and that's why he started getting results, right? So you get access to that as well. Um, as a bonus if you get started by 5 p.m. tomorrow. And then you get my YouTube marketing intensive. Now this was a three hour step-by-step -step training. Now this was actually more in depth than what Jennifer McGrabby had um, that she was able to get 200 views in two days uh, with. This actual, um, where's her results? Yeah, so she had just a checklist, right? But I actually have a more intensive training that I did a couple of weeks ago. You're gonna get access to that recording where it shows you step by step what I do to generate leads on, on YouTube. And it walks you through step by step. I'm walking you through the exact process of how you can get your videos ranked on the first page of YouTube. I've had people do it very, very quickly, sometimes within minutes. And also generate leads um, from your videos as well. So you get those bonuses um, you know, when you sign up by 5 p.m. Thursday. Now here are some people who, these are the people that were actually on that YouTube marketing intensive. I did it a couple weeks ago on May 9th. And these were, this is their feedback from it. Um, Dot King uh, said, I enjoyed all the training that you presented. This is all new to me and look forward to do great things for your, for your and looking forward to do great things for my business with your excellent training that you offer. Um, Mamadou, who's actually uh, on board now with us in Empower Network and building his existing business, he said, yes, this is really helpful and made things more clear for me now. Thanks a lot. Jacqueline Walter, she's in Arbonne. Uh, she said, this is really helpful, Angela. My aha moment is I needed to create a target market with more detail. I was too general. I believe that once I make this change, I'll begin to see even more success. Thank you, lady. So those are some people who are actually uh, live attendees of the YouTube Marketing Intensive. So you'll get recording of that training um, as a bonus as well. So if you sign up by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you get all of those bonuses, the three Facebook bonuses, and the YouTube Marketing Intensive. So all it is is $25 to get started. Get started by 5 p.m. tomorrow to make sure that you get uh, those bonuses and here's the deal there's no risk so if you get in you get started take a look around and you say you know this wasn't the right fit for me you have a 14 day money back guarantee so you have 14 days if you don't like it you can get your money back 100% guarantee so again the three Facebook marketing bonuses is what you get and the YouTube marketing intensive now if you have never vlogged before so if you're like someone who's like look I've, all, I've written an email but I've never really, you know, done this whole blogging thing before. Is it easy for someone who's new to do? Okay. So Sandra Clayman is a Mary Kay rep and she got started and she was again someone who was like, I've never done this before. And so she said on on Facebook, um, you're just amazing the way that you handle your business and yes, the way you handle those who are challenged by technology. So it's really easy, you guys, to get started. We built the, the, the blogging platform was designed for people who even if you have no experience with blogging, you can now get in and get some results and learn how to do it. So I'm going to give you a sneak peek at the back office. So this is how the blogging platform actually looks because it's better for me to show you than to tell you, right? I'm one of those people like, look, you can tell me all day, but I want to see proof with my own eyes. So I'm about to log in here. So once you join Empower Network for $25, um, you get your username and password. And then now you can just click on this button that says log in and start blogging. Now our blogging platform is called Kalatu and it's very high powered. It's actually really, it made it so much easier for people to, to get started blogging. So what happens is you click log in and what it'll do is it'll ask you a couple questions to get you set up. But once you set up, it has a video, an actual tutorial video, walking you through step by step um, how to get everything set up in your blog. So if you are like, look, I, I don't know a lot about this, but hey, I can watch a video. I can watch a video and, and follow what they say in a the video, then you're going to be good. So we have a tutorial video um, that walks you through step by step how to blog. But I also want to show you guys like how easy it is to make a post. Now, the, the video will show you how to do this. I'm going to give you an example. So let's say you want to write a blog post. So we'll click Add New. And if you look at this, this is kind of like, you know, how Gmail looks. If you send an email before, it doesn't look similar to this. Like this could be like the subject line and this is where you actually send the email, right? So if you ever used email before, if you've ever used Facebook or status update, you can do this. But here's what's cool about the Collide2 blogging platform and this is what makes our blogging platform different from a lot 
of other platforms is we made it easy. So for people who are like, I've never done this before, what do I blog about? Like, I don't even, like, what if I, 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 I sit down a blog and I don't even have a clue of what to blog about? They even have a button that says, give me an idea. So you click on it and it gives you blog post ideas of what to blog about. So this one says, how I overcame, how I overcome obstacles. What process do you use when you run into an obstacle? How do you deal with it? What type of support do you find most helpful when you're dealing with obstacles? So one thing, so how could you use this if you're promoting, let's say, five links? Well, you sit down, you have your cloud to blog, you pay $25 because you wanted to get the bonuses tonight, right? So you get your blog, and you're like, okay, I want to write a blog post. And you don't know what to write about, so you click this, and you get this box. How to overcome obstacles. So what you could do, if I was in five links, I could do a blog post for people who are searching for, um, you know, five links review, and I could put five links review how to how to overcome any obstacles in building a home based business and succeed in five links. And what I could do now is just share some, just be real with people, be honest, and say, look, you know, in building my five links business, here are some obstacles that I came across, here are some challenges that I had, and list them out, and they'll be like. Wow. Okay, this is somebody who's not like trying to sell me and be all you know positive and, and only show the good. They're actually sharing with me some some difficulty. Okay, that builds trust because they see that like, look, I already know that I'm not gonna that everything's gonna be perfect for me. I know I'm gonna face some challenges. I know I'm gonna have to learn. But because you're you're saying it and you're being real, they're like, okay, I kind of like this person. They're being real with me. And then you share what process you use, like, like Kalatu is telling you, what process did you use when you ran into that obstacle? So you may say, look, you know, I struggled for a little while in my business. You know, I, I did some of the traditional ways that I was taught and I still, you know, struggle. But I got access to training that showed me how to really do it the right way online. And now I'm learning all these great things. I'm learning how to do a blog post like you're on right now to reach people like you. And that's how I overcame my obstacle. I just got help. I got more training. Look, if you want to get your five links business started off the right way and you don't want to go through all the obstacles and the hassle that I did and you want to learn maybe how to do online marketing like me, um, I highly recommend that you go to my website, get plugged in, get partnered with me so I can show you what I'm doing and get you started on the right track. And Kalachu just gave me that as an idea, right? What if you know what you want to write about but you don't know like what kind of title to put? Oh, we go to our buddy Kalatu. Kalatu, click, give me a headline. And what you can do is put a topic in that you want to blog about. So let's say I wanted to blog about, um, let's see, what, what, acne. So let's say I'm in a skincare company and they sell acne products or whatever, right? Like products that clear acne. So I'll just put acne in. Get me ideas. Are you making this critical acne mistake? Nah, that don't really work. So I put, give me another headline. How I use acne to create my dream life. Nah, that doesn't really fit. Five shortcuts to acne like a pro. So let me go back. So now you say, okay, that doesn't really work. So let me put in clear up acne. So that might be better. Give me some headline ideas. Secret guide to fast success with clear up acne. The science of clearing up acne, how to achieve results fast. Now, that might actually work. So I could put the science of clearing up acne, how to achieve results fast. That could work. <laughs> how to clear up acne successfully, even if you're brand new. Maybe I'll put even if you're brand new to skin care or taking care of your skin. How to clear up acne successfully, even if you're brand new to skin care. What I learned from, let's put maybe what I learned from clearing up my acne. So you just say, okay, perfect. I write about that. What I learned from clearing up, and I'll just put my acne. And then now I can share my story of how, you know, my journey of acne, how, you know, um, you know, if it was difficult for me, if I got teased or if I just kind of felt insecure about how I looked. And now I discovered this skincare product that helped me clear up my acne. And then now if you have acne and you want to clear up your acne too, then go to my website. You see, this tool, Klaatu Blogging Platform, this platform allows you to now get ideas. Even if you know what to write about, but you're like, I don't even know what a good title would be to get someone to actually want to read my post, it'll actually give that to you too as well. And then you go through here and then now, and it shows you how to, how to do all this, and you click publish and now your, your blog is published. So it's really cool. So we made it easy for people who are really new to this whole blogging thing.
Um, another question I get asked is, is this compliant with my company? So some of you guys are in uh, other companies where um, you know, you're not allowed to promote other things. So can you use this Empower Network blog uh, and still be compliant with your company? So let me give you an example of how other uh, distributors and other companies have now customized their blog. Where now there's nothing about Empower Network on their blog. So it's only, any, you know, only their blog only talks about their company. So let me give you an example. Let me show you this Organo Gold rep. So this Organo Gold rep did a blog, used her Kalatu blog to promote her Organo Gold coffee business. So let me show you guys an example of this. So see here, this has nothing about Empower Network on here. And then what's cool is you can actually click on, let me click join and let me see. Yeah, so you click join up at the top here and it takes you to her page where you can actually join. Her sponsor ID is already tied in and everything. So you can make, you can do that. Or now people can join you right from, directly from your blog. Or they can click on a banner and now takes them to uh, the page where they can actually learn more information about the business opportunity. So I just want to give you an example of how other people have used the blog to just promote their business and they're not promoting anything about Empower Network on their blog. And what most people don't know is that you actually get three blogs for the price of $25. So let's say that you um, wanted to have a blog just for the business opportunity and then maybe you wanted a whole entire blog dedicated to your product line or maybe one product in your product line. You could do that. Let's say you have a spouse or you have a child and they want to blog about their passion. Maybe you have a son who loves video game and he's into gaming and he wants to use a blog to, you know, and use our training to learn how to grow a blog on video gaming. He can do that. Um, he would just have to now log into your account. So if you're okay with that, he could just log into your account and now get access to his blog. Okay. Um, you can do that. So you get three blogs for the price of $25. Ayana, who's an MCA, customized her blog and she said, oh, I so love Empower Network. They made it so simple for me to design my page and add my business on here with no problem. And this is just a sample of how other MLMs can use Empower Network to brand themselves and promote their business. If you are in a company that is very strict on what you can do and how you can market online, I know Mary Kay is like that, um, how can you now blog in a way where you can still be compliant? So my advice with if you're in a company like that, or like Mary Kay, is usually, especially with Mary Kay, you're not allowed to use specific company names, specific company product names. So for example, um, Mary Kay has uh, the Mary Kay Signature Concealer, which conceals like under eye circles and all that. So instead of you doing a blog post or a video and titling it Mary Kay Signature Concealer, you want to go a little bit more generic. So you want to now maybe do a blog post saying, you know, how to conceal under eye circles or the best concealers to under, to the best concealer to conceal under eye circles. And then now you could talk about in your video or in your blog about the, the concealer that you're using, but you're not putting that in your title. Okay, so that's a way that you can now still market online. Um, what do I blog about? So you guys saw inside of Cloud 2, it'll actually give you some ideas, but I want to kind of give you some more to kind of let you know, like, okay, how would this work? Like, what would I, what would I actually write about that would actually help me get results in my business? So you can write about what you're learning in the Power Networks training. So as you're going through, so those of you guys who are getting started tonight, welcome aboard. I want to welcome you. Um, as you're getting started, you could be blogging about what you're learning. So those of you who are getting started by 5 p.m. Thursday, you're getting all those bonuses. You could take those trainings and turn around and shoot a video on them. So you, you'll get access to the YouTube marketing intensive. So you could turn around and do a video and say, hey, look, here's how I'm building my World Ventures travel business. Here's how I'm building my, um, what other companies? My It Works business online using video and if you want to you know do that so you don't have to keep chasing your family and friends when you get started and it works come join me and I'll show you how to do the same thing I'll show you how to do what I'm doing so you can talk about what you're learning and the products and turn around and shoot a video on it that's what I did a lot in the beginning that's what a lot of the people that invited you on this hangout that's what they're doing to get results um, you can blog about the connections and the relationships that you're building in your business so as you are going to company events and you're connecting with six and seven figure earners, you could do a video and interview the six and seven figure earner and say, hey, why, why did you join, you know, It Works, or why did you join Paycation Travel? And let them now sell your people. So now you turn around, put that video on your blog, 
and now you send it to your leads and now let that person now sell your people for you into your business. So you can take pictures, right, and share pictures on Facebook. Facebook is really good with lifestyle marketing. So anytime I go to a company event, I'll take pictures of me getting on the plane. I'll take pictures of me at the event, at the hotel that I'm staying in. And again, it's lifestyle. And you can put it on your put those pictures on your blog. Those are some of the things that you can blog about. You can blog about the challenges and the struggles that you've overcome. That's what Kalatu recommended, right? Uh, talk about some of the challenges. Be a real person. Let people know that, like, look, I'm not going to hype you up. I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah, there were days when it was hard. Yeah, I was trying to figure things out. But here's how I overcame it. And now that helps people build a trust with you because they're like, okay, they're not just telling me what I want to hear. They're not only just telling me the good, but they're telling me some of the things that, that they had to go through. Talk about your results. So as you're now getting results, that's one of the things that Jennifer did and uh, with so many other people, any of the leaders, Terry Malvoz, Zendra, Cousins, Priscilla, do or so, anybody that invited you on this hangout, um, that's what they were doing. They would use our training, get results with video marketing, get results with blogging, and they would turn around and shoot a video on it and say, hey, look, if you are searching for you know information about five links, I'm going to show you how I've been building my five links business, and now I'm getting three people a day giving me their information to learn more about my business. And look, if you want to learn how to have success like that and get started in five links the right way, go to my website and get plugged in and get partnered with me. So you blog about your results as you go and as you get them. And you could be blogging about the results that your team is getting. So those of you who are ready to get started and really take, you know, hit the ground running because you'll get those bonuses, get started today or at the latest 5 p.m. tomorrow. Tomorrow, Thursday, I'm actually doing a blogging Q&A hangout um, tomorrow just for all of our customers inside of Empower Network. So if you were not invited to this hangout um, by me, but you're invited by somebody else, you want to make sure that you still get started with them. They get, You'll get access to the same bonuses. You'll get access to the three Facebook bonuses. You'll get access to YouTube Marketing Intensive. Um, and you'll also get access to the hangout that I'm doing tomorrow night at 8 p.m. And it's going to be a and a hangout. So... Anybody that has any questions about blogging, um, they'll be able to. You'll be able to hop on and ask. Or if you don't have any questions yet because you're new, you can hop on and hear what questions other people are asking. So that's one of the things that we do to really make sure that our customers and um, get great results. We make ourselves available to them. So when you get started, again, you get those bonuses. But here's what's going to happen: when you get started with the person that invited you on this hangout, if you click the "Get Started Today" button below this video and get started for twenty-five dollars and you get started by 5 p.m. tomorrow, you get those bonuses, but here's what's going to happen. Once you get started, you're going to get a welcome email, a new member welcome email from the person that invited you on this hangout. And that new member welcome email is going to welcome you aboard, and it's going to have you get immediately plugged into our training site. But you'll also get information on how you can schedule a phone call, a new member strategy session with the person that you signed up with. We make ourselves available, and on those strategy calls, we help you map out a game plan and a marketing plan that works for your budget so that you can now build your business and get off to the right start. So when you sign up, just be on the lookout for that new member welcome email. It may come an hour or two later. You know, Give the person that you signed up with time <laughs> to see that you signed up, and just look out for that welcome email, and just make sure that you you know you open the email and follow the instructions in that email so that way you can get plugged in properly and you can get a phone call and get some assistance so you can get a blueprint laid out for you of what you need to do to get results. So just I'm just letting you guys know that that you'll get a phone call session with the person that you signed up with and you'll also get those same bonuses no matter who brought you on. So just make sure that you get started, get plugged in with the person that invited you on tonight's hangout. So What's your why worth? What, what is it? What's at stake here for you? For me, it was getting rid of these student loans. It was me being able to earn enough income that was, so I could take care of myself and be able to now start paying off my student loan debt, and I've been able to do that. It was about me doing work that I love and that would have impact on people's lives. You know, it, it, it does my heart good to see the success stories that I, that I just shared with you tonight, but we we on a mission. We, we want to have more. I'm not satisfied with, with that. We need more, and we're excited for those of you who got started with us. We're excited to have you be our next success story, and our goal is to work with you so that way now you can be one of the people on the slides that we get to talk about and brag about and boast about um, because you're getting results in your company with your business. So I am going to end it there tonight. Thank you for all of you guys that hopped on. 
uh, from St. Louis to Tacoma, uh, all of you guys, thank you for hopping on. And like I said, get started. We want to welcome you aboard and be on the lookout for that welcome email. All right, good night.